today we're going blueberry picking on this beautiful day and after all this hard work is all done we're going to be making some blueberry mojitos so stay tuned hey everyone today we're down at abbott's farms in baldwinsville new york we're gonna go blueberry picking yeah okay so we got our box we're gonna pick a lot yeah baby it's not a bad deal, is it? Oh, 25 bucks? Yeah. Tons of blueberries. Yeah. So we get to pick from the first four rows, they said. On that side and this side. And since there's people over there, we're going to go on this side. See what we can get. Dude, look at these huge ones. Those are nice. Like, look at how huge they are. Okay, here's an, okay. Well, maybe they're not as big as I thought they were. You just grabbed a big one. Okay. <laughs> well, they're, they're big. Take my word for it. Trust me, they're big. So when we pulled in, there was this one lady who was, uh, just walking out with a quart of blueberries and I thought she was like she didn't stop to go pay for them and I was like oh she's still low <laughs> you're you corrected me on that right you yeah just it turns kinda, out you prepay yeah so <laughs> so that solves that she's not a thief indeed yeah there are no thieves at Abbott Farms today yeah that we know of yeah I feel like I'm a thief when I just try one because I don't want to like oh let's pick Let's pick four quarts of these and not try one. Because mm -hmm. what if they were bad? I guess we already paid. So. Well, chances are good we will not be able to fill this entire thing, anyways. Yeah. So I'll be okay. I'm if sure you want some to people. Try a blueberry. Like some people probably walk out with like a heaping, like they can barely hold the handle because it's heaping. Yeah. So. Or like anyone who has children. Yeah. Because you can't possibly. You can't tape their mouths shut. You cannot. It's probably frowned upon. <laughs> <laughs> it's my expert advice. What's your expert advice? <laughs> Look really close to the ground because nobody pays attention to the ones that are close to the ground. And if you like sort of squat and do like a weird waddle along <laughs> the lines, you can find some really nice ones. Cool. They're all huge and stuff. Good advice. Thanks. I mean, come on. Look at the ones close to the ground. There's like tons. Nobody even sees these. Mm. They're secret blueberries. <laughs> It's been a really crazy beautiful day, hasn't it? Mm -hmm. I know, it's like absolutely gorgeous. It's a bouquet of blueberries. Yay! This is for you. Why, thank you. Here's the box to put it in. There you go, kind sir. Hey, this one is so convenient. It's sticking out way into the aisle. Pick me. Pick me. Yeah, there's a whole bunch here. Very good. What service? You know how I said that I didn't think we'd be able to fill this? <laughs> Yikes. Good job. Thanks. It was mainly you. <laughs> it's a week later. It is a week after we picked them. They are still absolutely gorgeous and delicious. 
We've eaten <laughs> a lot of them and we shared with the neighbors, but we still have a lot left. So we thought that it might be fun to make a drink and we have not made this yet. So it should be delicious. It's a blueberry mojito and it's a Better Homes and Recipes. Better Homes, <laughs> better and, homes gardens. and Gardens. <laughs> better Homes and Gardens. I like recipes. Better Homes and Recipes better. better. Homes and Recipes Garden. <laughs> yeah, this is like, this is for one serving. It's supposed to go in a tall glass. However, we have things to do tonight and we don't want to just fall asleep. So we are going to make the one recipe and put it in two small glasses. But this is three tablespoons of um, light rum. This is four teaspoons, I think it was, of granul... This is supposed to be super fine granulated sugar. It is not. It is regular sugar. Mm. Hopefully that doesn't make it blow up or anything. In a pinch. We're, yeah. we're doing this in a pinch, too. Yes, yeah. we, we need a drink today. <laughs> it's 2020. <laughs> These are mint sprigs from our garden to look pretty. These are to go in. It's like between eight to 10 leaves of mint for muddling purposes. Mm -hmm. And then a lime. Lime. It nice. uses a quarter of a lime. We can use however much lime we want because we're awesome grown ups. But, and then um, it calls for club soda, which we do not have. We have tonic water. So we're gonna use that instead. So we'll put this recipe or whatever you want to call it drink mix yeah it down below in the description and we'll let you know how it tastes not with what you're supposed to be making because <laughs> this is also peppermint too yeah but that but is the mint that we grow in the garden so in garden. yeah so that's really how that's gonna work <laughs> yeah. okay so you're putting the mint in the bottom yep mint's down there and then the blueberries and then and the lime lime and then I'm going to pretend that this is half and half because I did not measure it. One of them might be sweeter than the other. Okay, and now well, we're going sugar, to... That's sugar, not half and half. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I sliced the lime. To... Ooh, that's my it's contribution. Beautiful. Do you think we could use this meat tenderizer <laughs> to muddle them? Uh, 1950s uh, meat tenderizer. <laughs> that I use for, like, mashing potatoes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't even think it's been used to... Like tenderize meat. Not since my grandma used it. But this will probably work for muddling things, right? You just have to be kind of careful not to wreck the glass. I guess. Don't don't crack the glass. Oh god. We can put it in the measuring cup. Oh uh, yeah, that's true. That's no fun. This is more challenging. You know what's really stupid though is that I put the mint on the bottom, and I don't know how much muddling it's gonna do. Oh, I can smell it though. Oh really? Can you okay. smell the mint? Oh, this mm. looks like disgusting. Uh, I don't want to drink that. <laughs> I'm sure it's going to be good. Yes. Better Homes and Gardens says. Do you like this clanging? Clang, clang, I'm yeah. I'm so sorry, no. anyone watching this video. No. <laughs> it's it's so... because this meat tenderizer is the best thing for muddling if ever. You don't eat a lot of meat and you have a meat tenderizer, <laughs> this is what you use it for. It's really heavy and it, you know, it really works well for like mashed potatoes. Yeah. And it's super fun. Yeah. Like get a lot of stress out after a long day. I just like tenderizing the living daylights <laughs> out of some potatoes. Okay. That looks good. That's properly muddled, I okay. hope. Oh, it says to put ice in it. Meh, we don't need ice. We don't, we don't have ice. We don't need no stinking ice. We don't have our ice maker hooked up. No, we don't. Okay, let's see. About half. Right. That looks Oh, um, yeah. Uh -huh. Now let's add our um, club soda slash tonic water. Okay. Ooh, look at that. It's so beautiful. Gorgeous. Nice. And let's do our little garnishes. Bloop. Garnet. Yeah. Bloop. Oh, hang on here. I'll put it at the camera so it looks extra pretty. Okay, here. cheers. Astravia. It's like a regular mojito. It's like a drink and a salad. Mm. So it's extra healthy. Mm-hmm. I like mojitos, but yeah, I don't think where are they going with that? You I need like special mojitos. sugar. Yeah. That's perfect. Whatever. After five or six of these, hey, you can use whatever sugar you want. Brown sugar, molasses. It's awesome too because if you were making it at home, you don't have to feel guilty about making the bartender make you a mojito. Good job, us, for picking those blueberries. Yeah, right. Hard work pays off. See, other people just make like 
bluebird pancakes <laughs> for the video. <laughs> We're like, you got any wrong? Like, if you want to know how to make this, we'll link whatever we can find online. It's online, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll link the link down below in the description and we'll also put the uh, what you need to make this. And that's not bad with the uh, tonic instead yeah. of the instead of club, club soda because we didn't have any. We're not in the club. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Happy day, whatever. You <laughs>